every conversation, every phone conversation, every conversation that you have with somebody in person, it leaves an imprint on your soul. Emotional burdens get passed through verbal conversations. You talk to your mother, your father, you talk to your lover, you talk to your kid, you talk to a co-worker, you talk to somebody in the store. Any conversation with any person can become the transfer of an emotional burden. And you have to be mindful and protective of your spirit in every conversation not to take on the sadness of the entire world. Do not take on the burdens of others and let it soak in your soul. You know, the Bible, which is part of my faith-based foundation, says that we should, uh, paraphrasing, but basically says, carry each other's burdens. Now, from my interpretation and my perspective, because everything is based on how you interpret it and what your perspective is. I don't want and I don't need somebody else to tell me how I should live my faith. How I interpret that in my spirit is that we should be empathetic. Meaning that we should hear pain. We should sympathize with it. We should realize and be humble enough that any of us can be in any other circumstance if it wasn't for the grace of God. And we should treat people properly because of that empathy and we should live our lives in a humble manner uh, knowing that uh, and understanding others pain but it what, the, what it does not mean is that if you have a conversation with somebody and they're going through a breakup or you have a conversation with somebody and they're experiencing some sad things in life it does not mean in my perspective that you should take all that emotional pain on your soul and try to figure out how you can make them happy you should not do that and here's why because if you take on the emotional pain and the emotional burdens of others you will lose your own inspiration and when others are hurting they do need you to be sympathetic and to be calm and to let them share but they need you also to be strong and be inspirational not through a lot of words necessarily and not through you know, trying to, all right, all right, let's do, not through that. But if you're just as down in dumps, and if you're just as depressed, and you take on all that emotional burden, how can two people in a ditch help each other? If somebody's in a ditch, and you jump in that ditch with them, you're both effed. You're both screwed. You can only help somebody when you are in a position, emotionally now we're talking, you can only help somebody emotionally when you're in a better emotional position. You can't help somebody when you're in the same or worse emotional position. And that's what happens when you take on the emotional burdens of others during a conversation. Then you, you, know, you have a conversation with somebody. They tell you about a hardship or, or some type of thing they're struggling. Then you hang up that phone and then... You know, you've taken it all, you've taken all that emotional burden on yourself and you're trying to figure out how can I help my kid? How can I help my parent? How can I help this person feel more encouraged about life? It's a bad decision to do that. You'll end up needing help then. Somebody else will then need to come and help you. Listen with an open ear, a compassionate heart, and with an understanding mind. Don't, don't, don't take on the emotional burdens of others. You will end up in the same position and not only will somebody now need to help them, somebody is now going to need to help you. Protect your spirit, protect your inspiration. Use wisdom and guard your heart, guard your spirit. Stay inspired.